Hebrews chapter 11 is one of the most fascinating chapters in all of our scripture. It's a, it's a part of a New Testament letter uh, that was written to one of the earliest churches that ever existed. And it's just going back to all these ancient stories of men and women who lived out their faith in real ways. Like by faith, Noah built an ark and by faith, Rahab hid the spies and by faith, Moses and the Israelites crossed the Red Sea by faith, by faith, by faith. And then it moves into chapter 12. And it's this continuation of that thought. And it says, all right, so now that we have this great cloud of witnesses, all these amazing stories of old, he says, now let us run the race with perseverance. It's, it's kind of this call to the church. Um, let's be inspired by all those stories, but may we never get lost in them. God is doing a new thing today and the scripture actually invites us. Now it's our turn. It's like the baton's been passed to us and now it's our time by faith to run forward into what God has for us. And so we are running forward as a church, keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus. And what we believe that God has called us into is an expansion onto our building. And even though uh, this expansion that is gonna uh, provide a house of worship for our youth and our children, it's, it's a renovated food bank to be able to serve our city, even though we haven't broken ground and we won't probably till spring or summer of 2025, we have already started spiritually breaking ground. Spiritually breaking ground looks a few different ways. Uh, the spiritual breaking of ground starts in prayer. This is more than just a building. This is about taking a step of faith. We are spiritually breaking ground today by prophesying over this land and over what this expansion will bring to the next generation. We believe that this is gonna be a house of hope, a house of love, a house of peace, a house of new beginnings and so many more things. It starts in moments when we go to God and we begin to, in faith, prophesy over the land, believing God for big days ahead of us, for miracles ahead of us, for, for God to get glory in the days ahead of us. So the author of Hebrews chapter 12 throws in those two words, let us. Looking at all these great stories, he's saying, let us now, church, not get lost in those stories, but write a new one. Let us be a part of the new thing that God is doing today. Let us decide today not to live this life for ourselves, but for God. Let us begin to spiritually break ground for the great days ahead. Let us walk by faith and not by sight. Let us build this house.